Hello, what's up, Madlang people? What's up, everyone? Uh, welcome to VRB Tube. And today, we're not gonna be talking about the patch. I've shared this patch before. This is my Richie Blackmore patch using Zoom G1X on. But we are going to discuss about tone depending on your gear, on the guitar that you're using, or uh, the totality of your rig. It might be your pickup, your strings, your plectrum, your amp. So let's say you, you're using Zoom G1X on, but your guitar is not SG. It will produce a different sound. That's what I'm here for at the moment. That's what I will be discussing to you guys. As you heard on the intro, it's uh, smoke on the water. And I'm using the neck pickup, although the tone knob is almost all the way up, it sounds dull. And I wasn't using a plectrum. So if I use a plectrum, it's a little brighter than uh, previously, but still, it's still dull. It's still bassy because of the neck pickup. Right? If I put it on the bridge pickup, It's a lot brighter, isn't it? And the tone is all the way up. But if you use the bridge pickup and then your tone is all the way down, it will still sound dull. It will still sound bassy. So it's, it doesn't matter really if it's neck or um, bridge when the tone knob is all the way down. But if the tone knob is all the way up, both of them, the neck pickup will still sound bassy and dull this one will sound brighter uh, than the other one so bridge will always be brighter all right uh, i hope you get my point there um now if we're doing the lead beat so the same patch and then we do it we're gonna be doing the lead beat and i'm putting it on the neck pickup still doesn't sound how Richie Blackmore uh, got his tone. It's because he's not using an SG guitar, he's using a Strat. So the scale length of this guitar versus the Strat is different. And the pickup, is using a single coil pickup. This is a humbucker pickup. So it produces different uh, tone. Um, he probably uses a different plectrum, a different uh, gauge of string. And he's probably using a different technique when he's playing it. Like on the intro, if you're doing the intro, let's say it's on the bridge and Richie Blackmore is plucking the three strings, for example, or two strings. And uh, that's his technique. And you are playing it like this, single string. It will still sound different from how he's playing it and also his fingers his grip the size of his fingers so there's lots of factors that's why don't dwell too much sometimes i receive a lot of um, requests about uh, patches sometimes i'm just using the same patch but i swap guitar i tweak with the tone knobs or i tweak the patch a little bit to suit the sound so it's technically the same patch but i increase the gain level or add eq to it so there's just minute uh, things that i i tweak um so yeah having said that the scale length is a big factor um that's why the sound of um, richie blackmore is different so uh, we've done the 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 lead beat if we put it on neck, it sounded like this. And then bridge, it sounded like that. Brighter. Right, we'll swap guitar into a strap. Let's use my Starry Night uh, guitar. And let's hear how it sounds. Right. I'm sure you've seen this guitar already, how I built it, etc, etc. 
this is uh, the closest uh, to a strat um, sound or tone uh, I've compared this with my mate's uh, strat guitar and this one really sounded close to a proper strat guitar right we got three single coil the scale length of this one is almost identical to the scale length of a proper strat guitar and let's hear it um, on the intro I will probably be using the bridge to make it brighter and then if I put this on uh, the neck and on the lead beat the guitar solo I'll be using the neck pickup I really love the tone of the neck pickup we didn't change the patch it's the same patch as when we use the red guitar the SG guitar but this one has got more character um, so it it's not really the patch that makes it the tone uh, even though I've created the patch and wanted to sound like Richie Blackmore and you're using a different uh, gear it will still sound different like this one uh, the type of pickup maybe you still uh, use the same uh, single coil pickup as mine but the type of pickup ceramic and etc etc it's um, maybe a single coil but it's a humbucker it's more powerful it's got uh, um, high output pickups so there's loads of factors guys to to get the tone so don't dwell much on on patches um study how the artist that you are trying to create the sound um i'm just here to share especially my gear not really sharing the patch because it doesn't matter if i don't have the gear that you wanted or the artist that uh, is using so it's still useless okay so i hope you get the the idea i still got one more guitar and i think uh, let's say this is 25.5 or 25.6 that one i'm not sure if it's longer or shorter um it might be 25.7 or shorter 25.4 25.3 so those tiny differences create as well a different sound and probably like tiny factors like this is quite heavy uh, the type of wood here is really heavy but the other one the uh, the, uh, the lion by washburn although it's a strat um, type guitar but the wood is like paper it's so it's so uh lightweight this one is quite heavy that's why i got this uh, padding because if I play for about an hour of stream, my uh, shoulders is aching. It, um, this is a kit, a uh, DIY kit, but the wood is really, really heavy. And then I've seen as well, uh, like tone uh, comparison between a uh, rosewood uh, finger board versus uh, maple. So th those factors, guy, guys, play a big role. It's a tiny factor uh, it's, for example it's the same strat the same scale length then they use a different wood it still creates a different tone all right so um, let's get the other guitar and then compare the sound and then uh, you decide guys which one sounded better I like this better especially the neck pickup <laughs> Right, so much for that. <laughs> okay, this is the last guitar. Let me just quickly tune it. Okay, on the intro, we are on the neck pickup at the moment. <laughs> bridge pickup and the bridge here this is an hss configuration so we get humbucker on the bridge i like this one better uh, with the intro but on the lead bit maybe the blue one the starry night all right for the guitar solo
Um, it's sort of uh, sound okay, but still it's not the strat twang that I can hear from the blue guitar. Um, it's almost there, but not quite. I hope you can hear it, but to me, uh, when I'm listening to it, the blue guitar got it. This one, uh, let's say, if it's 1 to 10, that one is 9, this one is like 7 uh, or 8. It's uh, close, but still, I would go for the blue one. But on the intro, I love the sound from this guitar. Alright, uh, right, let's try the bridge. Super bright. It's because it's a um, high output. It's a humbucker and it's bridge. And I changed the pickup for this one. Um, this is a Wilkinson. I also go, did a review on the pickups. A Wilkinson uh, neck and a Wilkinson bridge humbucker. Um, I forgot the um, like the, the name itself. WS something. But yeah, um, I hope you can follow me, guys. I, I hope you uh, get what I'm trying to point out here. That um, it's not really the patch. It's got to do with the gear and um, the technique of playing it. Uh, on the intro, because I'm not convinced with uh, the sound, so I use the LA Metal. Uh, it's a built-in uh, patch already from Zoom G1X on, but I tweak it a little bit. So it, um, I think it's the gain level that I tweak and the volume so that it's not too up front. Um, here it sounds uh, for the intro. The first bit that you've been listening uh, is the Richie Blackmore patch that I did. But on the intro, as well as like um, verse, uh, for the rhythm bit this is what I'm using uh, now so I created not really, really created but I saved the LA metal and tweak a little bit the gain level and the volume level see it's already on the neck pickup but it's already sounding bright versus the Richie Blackmore patch that I did. See, I didn't swap uh, pickups. I just swap patches. It may, makes a big difference to the sound. This is my Richie Blackmore patch. Back to LA Metal. So I, I like this better. And if I put it on the bridge, there's much more bite to it. Okay guys, so I hope you sort of um, get what I'm trying to point out here. That it depends on what guitar you're using. Don't dwell much on the patches. I hope you like this kind of video guys um, I know some of you will still ask can you show the patch I will put it on the description below the patches uh, the LA metal is already there uh, you, you don't, I don't need to to show it to you because it's already in your pedal my Richie Blackmore I'll share to you on the description uh, the link where I did the Richie Blackmore and I said there's no point as well because of the gear that you're using but that will give you idea and then you can tweak it on your own uh, to suit your amp your guitar thank you so much guys for watching and if you're new to my channel please subscribe kindly support my channel uh, i'm giving away a lot of uh, lovely content uh, for your uh, guitar uh, pedal especially if you're using zoom g1x on because uh, the topic here at the moment is about my zoom g1x on and I'm sharing to you that it's not all about the patch. There's lots of factors. Um, thank you so much. And see you again soon. Bye.